very good morning to all the students of class plus 2c uh, yesterday we did formal invitations right so today we are going to start formal replies okay uh, suppose you received an invitation uh, then how to write a reply for that and it is a formal reply okay uh, informal invitations and informal replies that we will be doing um, on Monday. Okay. So we have done, I already told you that there are four categories under this invitations and replies. First is formal invitation, then formal reply, then informal invitation and informal reply. Okay. So we are doing second category today, formal reply. So please write down the heading. I'll be checking your notebooks in between. Let's start writing the value points. The points which you need to remember while writing a reply to someone, okay? So it again, it can be a reply from an individual. Suppose a VIP was invited, any dignitary was invited on a particular occasion to host the show, to be the jury member, uh, as to preside over the function, fine, as the chief guest. So that person has to confirm his presence also because they're too busy. Sometimes they do not have time. They have prior engagements and all. Prior engagement means they are already having some work somewhere else. They have already uh, done the commitment somewhere else. So they will answer, uh, write a reply to the person or the host who has invited. Fine, either acceptance or regret to they will express to join, fine. If they have uh, time, definitely they will accept the invitation. Suppose if they are busy, they cannot attend the event, then they will write reply of uh, regretting their inability to attend the same, okay? So two types of replies can be there, acceptance and declining. So please note down formal replies can be of two types. Firstly of acceptance and secondly declining. Fine. If it is mentioned in the statement, write a reply accepting the invitation, you will accept it. If it is mentioned, write a reply declining the invitation, you will decline it. Fine. But if it is mentioned, uh, if nothing is mentioned, suppose in the statement that whether to accept or decline, then it is your choice. Okay. So according to your own wish, you will be writing the reply, then you get the freedom okay, of choice. Then value points, first of all, the students who are joining now, please, beta, uh, five minutes pehle join career group. In between, you join and then you uh, miss the introduction part always. Clear? So, uh, first and foremost value point is you have to acknowledge the invitation. Acknowledge the invitation. So what is acknowledgement here? That the person has invited you, you will be thankful towards that person in the very first line. Fine, you will be using, uh, like you will be thanking the person in third person by acknowledging it. Okay, you, you have been, uh, you can say recognized by that person or chosen by that person to be your invitee. Fine, so you will be, uh, uh, when we will do example that it will be more clear to you. So firstly, we will acknowledge the invitation, then express thanks in third person. Express thanks in third person. Now, I told you already what is third person. Anybody can tell me if I write, I thank you. Or if I write Mr. Uh, ABC, Thanks, Mr. Rajesh, whatever name is there. What is the third person here? Rasika, you tell me. What do you mean by third person? Yes, we have right. Yes, Vita. What is third person here? Yes, Rasika. What do you mean by third person? Express thanks in third person. What does it mean? What does it mean? You are about to speak. Okay, You're writing the person whom we are talking about. Uh, means I'm asking how to write. You will be writing, I thank Mr. Rajesh, or you will be writing your own name like Rasika thanks Mr. Rajesh for inviting her. First part is uh, accurate or the second part? This is what I'm asking. You just type first or second. 
I thank Mr. Rajesh or Rasika thanks. Yes, exactly. Second one is the correct. So right answer, Rasika. Uh, express thanks in third person. You will not be using the word I. In this first person is I, you is second person and third person is any name. Okay. So after expressing thanks, then you will be mentioning, coming to the point, you will mention acceptance or decline or declining. Fine. Here you will be mentioning whether you would be accepting the after thanking the host of the invitation or of the event, you will be uh, organizer of the event. Thanks, Bologa. And after that, you will be mentioning that uh, that you, you are accepting so that the person is, you know, sure. Okay, okay, you have accepted and you will be, your presence is confirmed. That person should know. Okay. If you sometimes you, you are not uh, having time on that particular day, then you will mention uh, that you, your regret or inability to join the event, fine, or to be present on the event. Now, after that, beta, you need not specify the reason of declining here, okay? In acceptance, there is no need to tell the reason, okay? There is no need at all. But in declining, if you're declining something, there might be some reason. But in formal replies, you do not mention that I have some work, uh, you know, you never mention that I have some exam or I am having some meeting on that day. You never specify the reason. Uh, you specify uh, your inability, fine, in formal words only. And you use the word prior engagements. Prior engagement means you are on prior basis, you have committed your presence somewhere else and you are busy on that day somewhere else, okay? Rather than telling the reason, fine? Do not specify the reason. Informal replies may have reasons, fine. Do not specify the reason. Just mention inability to accept the invitation due to prior commitments or prior engagement. P R I O R due to prior engagement or prior commitment. So you are already, uh, you have given some words to someone else. So that's why you could not come. Fine. You cannot go there. After uh, mentioning this thing. Clear? Now, uh, the things to be kept in mind. This is the, to be, uh, you know, kept in mind while writing. Now you have to be very brief and specific and just use 50 words. Do not exceed that. Word limit, I'm telling you here only value points me. Word limit is up to 50 words. As per CBS's instructions, then be brief and specific. This may you do not beat about the bush, you do not write stories in this. But you need to be specific about what you want to say. And in a very, you can say, in less words, message should be clear. Please note down the value points, Vita. Those who have joined now, just a few minutes back, please note down. So formal replies are of two types, acceptance and declining. Clear, acknowledge the invitation first of all, express thanks in third person, mention acceptance or declining, do not specify the reason just mention inability to accept the invitation due to prior engagement or commitment. Word limit is 50 words and be brief and specific and always put replies also in a box. So you have to make a rectangular box the way we have done in invitation, formal invitation yesterday only. So you will be drawing a box. The only thing is the answer 
the replies of the invitations are not at all centrally aligned this is the only difference okay इन्विटेशंस में आप करते थे ना सेंटर में ऐसे बना के प्रॉपर कार्ड जैसे आपको आते हैं शादी के इन दैट वे यू हैव मेड वन कार्ड यस्टरडे बट इन रिप्लाईज यू विल बी राइटिंग इन यू कैन से इन वन पैराग्राफ ओनली यू विल नॉट चेंज द पैराग्राफ यू विल राइट वन पैराग्राफ स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द लेफ्ट ऑफ द बॉक्स गोइंग जस्ट राइट टू द बॉक्स सो यू विल कीप ऑन राइटिंग इन वन पैराग्राफ इन रनिंग हैंड ओके यू नीड नॉट डेकोरेटेड यू नीड नॉट like in in the in the case of invitations we have used bold letters we have done like bigger letters in, while writing the name of the occasion and all in the uh, in writing the reply you need not do so okay you just write reply in running hand in one paragraph but do put in the box beta done if you have noted down these points is it clear jaldi se send me response so that i can continue what about others prabhnur is saying yes fine so most of you have noted down the points so we will start with the uh, because i need to erase it let's uh, okay before uh, doing one reply on the board i would like to show you uh, you know i would like to share the screen with you all and i will show you one reply okay let's see that yes beta can you see the screen clearly yes srishti rasika anshul anshul was never there i know that he just you know joins the class anshul which are you there yes the rest of the students are sending me response but anshul is never there i know that so i won't be marking the those students present those are not responding see uh replies to the invitation first of all uh replies accepting or declining it can be both formal follow a set formula so formal words you have to use kind invitation while uh writing the reply you have to be formal fine while writing a formal reply thank you for the kind invitation uh, yeah mr raj thanks mr batra for his kind invitation fine it is his great pleasure to be invited by mr raj but at the same time he regrets his inability he will not say that ki i regret my inability ki main karta hu no third person mein likhoge formal reply that he regrets his inability to attend the uh, ring ceremony to attend the birthday बट ये ना हो कि आप सोच रहे हो कि ये तो रिप्लाई है वी विल नॉट मेंशन दी ओकेजन टाइम एंड डे नो इन दिस यू हैव टू मेंशन यू विल यूज थर्ड पर्सन दे इंस्टेड ऑफ फर्स्ट पर्सन वी और आई ये टी नहीं है ये आई लिखा हुआ है फाइन सो आई और वी यूज नहीं करेंगे वी विल प्रेफरेबली यूज ही शी दे एटसेट्रा फाइन ही शी दे और एनी नेम they are considered third persons then address of the writer and date to be written fine let's see while writing the how to write the reply now i'll be showing you value points aapne likh liye you need not uh, uh, note down this thing let me show you one example we will switch to a formal reply this is the formal reply this is the way how to write it please uh, See your friend P V Sathish has invited you to attend the wedding of his sister Jaya. You find that you have an important paper of pre board exam on the day of the wedding. Thus, you cannot attend the event. Write in about fifty words a formal reply. Though it is your friend, beta, with friends you do not have formal relations. you have informal relations always but they have asked you to draft a formal reply then you will draft a formal reply only you will not change it okay by seeing the relation suppose they have not used the word formal reply to the invitation only bas itna hi likha ho write in about 50 words a reply to the invitation then it will be your choice aap dekhoge ye to mere friend ka invitation hai 
then you can write an informal reply also. Okay, that will be your choice. But in such cases, when they have mentioned that formal reply, then you have to be formal. Fine, third person may he it up. Expressing your regret. Now, one more thing. They are not asking you to accept the invitation. So you have to decline the invitation only. Clear? You are uh, Punita which or Puneet which M. 1144 4th Road, Chennai. Clear? So, this is one of the uh, from you can say 2017 ke exam me aya hua ye sample papers. Okay? See, thank you, PV Satish, for your kind invitation. In only as a likhana, aap apna name se start kar sakte ho. Fine? You can also start that uh, Punita Vij. Thanks, PV Satish. Fine. Your name is Puneet Vij or Punita Vij. So you can start like Punita Vij. Thanks, Mr. PV Satish, for his kind invitation to the wedding of his sister, Jaya, on. You have to mention the better occasion, day, date, time, and venue also. Clear? On 23rd January 2022. Fine. Now, here is the first person start. Kiya hua. I regret my inability. You know. So, you will be using third person only. He regrets or she regrets. If a girl is writing, obviously she will write. She regrets her inability to attend the function as she has an important pre board exam on the same day of wedding. But she conveys her heartiest wishes to the newly wedded couple and wish them a very happy married life. Best wishes, Puneet, right? MM144 Road, Chennai. So we will not write address over here. You will just write reply, fine? Is that clear, Bita? But uh, there something is always, uh, you know, wrong in between. So they have addressed the person uh, directly, but we will not be addressing. So we will do one example. Uh, please note down. You are Akshya or Akriti. You are Akshya, Akshay or Akriti. As you are Akshay or Akriti. I'm going to check your notebooks, but I make sure you're noting down. You are Akshay or Akriti. You have been invited to participate in a seminar on fundamental rights of children. You are Akshay or Akriti. You are Akshay or Akriti. You have been invited to participate in a seminar on fundamental rights of children. Fundamental rights of children. Organized by the Lions Club of your district. Organized by the Lions Club. Lion, it's Lion always, okay? L I O N. Lions Club of your district. Respond to the invitation. Respond to the invitation to the secretary of the club. Respond to the Respond to the invitation to the secretary of the club. Now they have not mentioned ki aapko accept karna hai ya decline karna hai. So this is totally your choice whether you want to accept it or decline it. Okay. So let's start writing this. First of all, you will acknowledge it. You will thank the person. Secretary ko thank you bologe. And after that, you will mention acceptance or declining. Let's draw a box, kindly use scales while drawing the box, okay? That way you will be using scale.
again you can close the box later on after writing the reply so that whenever your content is completed accordingly you can fine so draw a box in which you will be writing a reply fine so what is the statement you are akshay or akriti fine so you have to firstly thank uh, the host and they have not mentioned the name but yes they have mentioned the designation of the person secretary of the lions club fine so you can mention that designation and you can write uh, any assumed name also but your name is written so your name is akshay or akriti so boys obviously will write akshay girls you write your name akriti akshay thanks uh, mr start from the left go till that corner mr any name you can write rajesh sinha comma सेक्रेटरी की स्पेलिंग कैसे होती है सीक्रेट वर्ड लिखो फाइन देर इज अ सीक्रेट बिहाइंड राइटिंग दिस वर्ड सेक्रेटरी सो दैट सीक्रेट इज पहले सीक्रेट वर्ड ही लिखने हमें एंड देन यू एड ए आर वाई ओके सो दिस इज अट सेक्रेटरी वर्ड अक्षय थैंक्स मिस्टर राजेश सिन्हा सेक्रेटरी लॉयस क्लब जलंधर किसके लिए थैंक्स करें नाउ यू हैव टू मेंशन फाइंड राइट इन सिंगल सेंटेंस ओनली अक्षय थैंक्स मिस्टर राजेश सिन्हा सेक्रेटरी लॉयस क्लब जलंधर फॉर इनवाइटिंग हिम गर्ल्स ऑब्वियसली चेंज द प्रोनाउन अकॉर्डिंगली आकृति लिखे तो हर कर दो फॉर इनवाइटिंग हिम नाउ वेयर दे हैव इनवाइटेड द नेम ऑफ दैट ओकेजन इज सेमिनार ऑन फंडामेंटल राइट of children on seminar of you can write in capitals here but do not you know uh, write in two lines the way we used to do in uh, invitations fundamental rights of children single comma closes inverted comma now on uh, 23rd january 2022 at now beta uh, obviously lions club is uh, might be one place where people uh, you know do that organization of the seminars and also you can write lions club also venue and time accordingly fine at 9 am at lions club so you need to mention that he firstly that person thanks mr dash for inviting him on this occasion on this date time and venue you have to mention clear then it becomes a formal reply after thanking and acknowledging the invitation now you will be expressing they have not mentioned beta that whether you will accept or decline it how to write it uh, suppose akshay wants to accept it uh, he accepts he cordially accepts aap thoda aur formal ho sakte ho by using embellished vocabulary he cordially accepts the invitation and will reach there in time that's it clear kyunki aage kuch bachega hi nahi kehne ke liye if somebody is accepting the invitation fine so we will do one accepting ka isi ko hum decline mein kar denge fir change karke line yahan tak same rahega he accepts or cordially accepts me he cordially accepts 
the invitation to attend the seminar and will reach there well in time kindly mark my presence that also you can write at last you can write that okay kindly mark my presence ek line aur agar aapko badhani hai to you can finish it here also clear just in the form of one paragraph you have to write formal reply is that clear to you all please send me consent jaldi se clear hai sabko एक्सेप्टेंस का कैसे एक्सेप्ट करना है जल्दी से नोट डाउन करिए आई एम गोइंग टू इरेज इट एंड देन वी विल डू डिक्लाइन वेल होने वाली है इसलिए आई एम गोइंग टू डिक्लाइन ये वाली लाइन नोट कर लो ही कॉर्डियली एक्सेप्ट द इनविटेशन टू अटेंड द सेमिनार एंड विल रीच देयर वेल इन टाइम ओके एंड काइंडली मार्क माई प्रेजेंस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एट नाउ सपोज यू वॉन्ट टू डिक्लाइन इट बाकी का सेम रहेगा If suppose person does not have the time, have prior engagements, तो क्या लिखेंगे यहाँ पे He regrets his inability to attend the same. Same means the mentioned occasion above. Okay, attend the same due to. some prior commitments or engagement anything you can write he regrets please note down this line he regrets his inability to attend the same due to some prior engagements but now ab isme kya aayega ki he can convey his wishes for the successful uh success of the event okay because this is not some marriage or birthday that he could convey his wishes to the married couple or wishes to the birthday boy or birthday girl so in that case he can just but he conveys his wishes for the successful organization of the event he conveys his wishes for the successful organization of the event clear so if the person is uh, showing his inability to regret or uh, regret or inability to attend the function or occasion then he will convey his wishes okay is that clear to you all any doubt is it clear so we have done formal replies also today formal invitations always remember centrally aligned in a box highlighting the name of occasion and uh, host or you can say any other then rsvp also iske beech mein kuch nahi likhna hai do not write any address do not write any date in niche upar kahin pe kuch nahi likhna hai if you find you know you have many help books and many sites will be showing different uh, formats so that you will not follow okay so this is the only way you will be doing it then informal invitation and informal reply okay which means you got from your relatives from your friends from your acquaintances wo letter form mein likhte hain that we will do some other day so that you cannot get confused you know you can get confused easily if we will do four or four together सबको क्लियर है ये प्लीज शो मी नोटबुक जल्दी से दोज हुव नोटेड डाउन नोटबुक्स दिखाइए आई कैन सी यू हैव डन इट देन आई विल एंड द मीट आफ्टर सींग यू नोटबुक्स जिन्होंने नहीं किया दे दे विल रन स्ट्रेट अवे यू नो आफ्टर लीविंग द मीटिंग किसी ने किसने नहीं किया हुआ किसने किया प्रभनूर कौर वेरी गुड बेटर कुछ भी लिखा है थोड़ा सा 
show me a notebook so that I can see. What about others? Suhani, yes, very good. Well done, Peter. Clear and you're writing for yourself, okay? Not for the teacher, not for somebody else. This is for your learning only, okay? Have a nice day.